I'm Yvonne Toft. Um, I'm from Central Queensland University, Associate Professor in Human Factors and System Safety. As a healthcare worker previously, um, and viewing error and um, creating errors myself, um, I thought I understood um, where those threshold limits were. I was found in a position two years ago where my father received care that was very less than adequate and ultimately died um, from a prescription and administration of morphine that was contraindicated for him. And it, but it was not the only one. It was simple things like, um, at one stage, my, my sister said to them, Dad hasn't had dinner yet, the nurse is on the shift. And she said, but there's no one admitted in that bed. And she said, but I'm looking at my father sitting in this bed. You know, um, just because your paperwork doesn't say there's a patient there, doesn't mean there isn't a patient there. And I think that empathy has to come from consistency. One, one of the things that my sisters and I, and they're both our ends as well, one of um, the things that really struck us was the lack of consistency in care and people finishing what they'd started out to do and the communication between staff. Handovers just left us so worried if one of us wasn't sitting there. And what about all of the other patients who don't have an advocate, who aren't there constantly reminding people of what is in the chart and what is safe care for, for the patient? And I think the empathy um, in staff can come from listening to the families who know it. Um, one of the things that really struck us every shift, um, they actually saw Dad as being this old man who had lost um, his mental faculties, um, who was waiting for care in a nursing home or whatever. And the furthest thing from the truth, he'd been on holidays with my mum um, on a driving holiday a week before he acutely went into their care. And so actually listening to people and rather than assuming you understand where they've come from would make a huge difference, I think.